Hi everyone, you're watching Chemistry with Kat. In today's lesson, we are going to cover how to find the limiting reagent. The limiting reagent is the molecule that is going to be used up first in the chemical reaction. As soon as the limiting reagent runs out, the reaction will stop. So the amount of limiting reagent is going to dictate how much product we actually get. So when we're calculating the theoretical yield, which I taught you how to do yesterday, you have to first start with the limiting reagent. Luckily, in yesterday's lesson, the question told us what molecule was in excess, but when it doesn't tell you that, you have to calculate it yourself. The question reads that 0.62 moles of a strong acid, HCl, is reacted with 0.54 moles of a strong base, NaOH, to form H2O and NaCl. What is the limiting reagent? How many moles of the salt are made? How many moles of the excess reagent are left? First thing we do is write out the formula. So I have hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide giving us water and sodium chloride or salt. Now, we have to make sure this is balanced. So we'll just do it roughly, but if you want to review how to balance equations, I'll link that video here. So the hydrogen, we have two hydrogen on the reactants and two hydrogen in the products. We have one chlorine, one chlorine, one sodium, one sodium, one oxygen, one oxygen, and we already did hydrogen. So luckily this equation is already balanced. The question told us that we have 0.62 moles of hydrochloric acid and 0.54 moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, at the beginning of all these questions, you're gonna wanna find the moles of all the reactants in order to find how much product is made, but also to find the limiting reagent. So if you want to review how to find moles from mass, go watch my moles, mass, and molar mass video. And if you need to find moles from molecules, atoms, ions, you're gonna need Avogadro's number and I will link that video as well. Because these are a one-to-one -one ratio, we can just look at the moles. And this is why this is an easy problem. Tomorrow, we're gonna go over equations that don't have ones in front. And that makes the question a little more complicated. So what we can do is just look at which one has the least moles. And in this case, it's sodium hydroxide. So that is the limiting reagent. And question one is done. The second part of this question is how many moles of the salt are made? Now, in this case, it's kind of like finding theoretical yield. All we have to do is compare the stoichiometry coefficient. So there's one mole of sodium hydroxide is gonna give us one mole of sodium chloride. So we don't actually have to do any work. We're gonna have 0.54 moles of the salt. And there's question two, done. Now, the third question asked us how many moles of the excess reagent will be left. So our excess reagent is the hydrochloric acid. So we know that 0.54 moles are gonna be used of the sodium hydroxide. So that also means that 0.54 moles are gonna be used of hydrochloric acid. So all we have to do is subtract. So 0.62 minus 0.54 mole, which is gonna be used in the reaction, gives us 0.08 mole is left over. And there's question three. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you here tomorrow where we go over some more complicated limiting reagent problems.